Well, folks, the Hollywood sexual misconduct scandal is now in high gear, and it seems every day we hear about a new Tinseltown leftist that engaged in the liberals' real war on women. Harvey Weinstein led the way, with now over 50 women coming forward and accusing him of everything from lewd behavior to rape, and there's even talk of him paying women off to shut up about his grotesque criminal activity. Since the Weinstein scandal has broken the ice, accuser after accuser is now coming forth with all the fervor and intensity of the Salem witch trials. If only it was just as frivolous. The list seems endless. Ben Affleck, Gary Goddard, Oliver Stone, James Toback, Ed Westwick, Dustin Hoffman, Steven Seagal, Kevin Spacey, and on and on it goes. It seems you can't throw a cat in all of leftist Hollywood without it snagging a sexual predator. We all know the deviance of serial adulterer Bill Clinton and the one who led the crusade to destroy any woman who dared accuse him, the most cheated on woman in the world, his wife Hillary. That was, of course, before she ran for president herself, when she said victimized women deserve to be believed. This all doesn't bode well for the left. They're desperately trying to paint a picture of a Republican war on women, when in reality it's the left that has all of the Russian hands and Roman fingers. But that doesn't keep them from jumping on the bandwagon. An accuser, Lee Korfman, has now come forward saying the newly elected Judge Roy Moore down in Alabama was inappropriate with her like 20 years ago when she was 14. She spun a yarn about Moore, calling her on the phone in her bedroom to arrange a meeting. The accusation alone prompted Rhino establishment GOPers like Mitch McConnell and John McCain to run to the nearest microphone and call for Moore to step down without investigation and having not even heard the evidence. One would think if there was any evidence to this allegation, it would have came out during the campaign. Moore strongly denies this claim, calling it all lies, and says he's not stepping down. But in a bizarre turn of events, the mother of the alleged victim says her daughter had no such phone. This seriously calls into question the credibility of Lee Korfman and her story, and it's her own mother calling her out. Maybe that's why nothing in Alabama has changed. The local ABC affiliate looked but couldn't find a single voter who believes the story. The Washington Post broke the story, and the voters have far more contempt for the Post than they do Roy Moore and his popularity remains intact. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the Show.com.